What up beauties? I'm here to talk about the best graphic novel I've ever read. Okay, let's just get into the video. I don't even have time to say what's up. I think I already did say what's up. Anyway, welcome back to the Black Bell, my booktube channel, Deja's booktube channel. I'm Deja. And I just talk about books. Correction. I ramble about books. And you guys like it. Okay, but Today I'm only going to ramble about one book and that is Nubia Real One. Um, written by L.L. McKinney and I guess illustrated by Robin Smith. So this is the question on the back. Can you be a hero if society doesn't see you as a person? I'm going to read the back of it and then I'm going to get into spoilery stuff but once I read the back and give you the gist of it I'll tell you guys to run and hide if you don't want to be spoiled. So can you be a hero if society doesn't see you as a person? Nubia has always been a little bit different. As a baby, she showcased Amazonian strength by pushing over a tree to rescue her neighbor's cat. But despite Nubia's similar abilities, the world has no problem telling her that she is no Wonder Woman. And even if she were, they wouldn't want her. Every time she comes to the rescue, she's reminded of how people see her as a threat. Her moms do their best, her moms, yes, her moms, do their best to keep her safe, but Nubia can't deny the fire within her, even if she's a little awkward about it sometimes, even if it means people assume the worst. When Nubia's best friend, Keisha, uh, one, of, one of the funniest characters ever, um, is threatened by a boy who thinks he owns the town, a white boy, I should add, Nubia will risk it all, her safety, her home, and her crush on that cute kid in English class, to become the hero society tells her she isn't. So if that itself isn't like, yeah, 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 I needed the agent, then let me show you a little bit of the art. First of all, look at the cover. Look at the art, look at the art, look at the art. Look at that, oh. And then they have like the, that hurt it. It has like a page breaks here, oh, so good. It's literally about this 17 year old girl who has like superpowers and shows the same like, superpowers as wonder woman but nobody knows um except her moms of course and she basically is grappling with the fact that she wants to be a hero and save people when they need her but what happens like when she does that and people assume she is the suspect you know because the society we live in they see black people like and they automatically assume threat violence so the way that this graphic novel just tackled that whole concept was so good it was so real it was so honest and it was funny as hell you guys so the side characters were literally so funny her best friends Keisha and Jason who have been like best friends since they were little but Nubia has just moved there because she moves around a lot so she's been friends with them for like a year or two years and but it's like their friendship is so strong and just lovable the use of slang and ebonics and AAVE african-american vernacular english i think that's what it's called excellent because the author uses it in the right way it's not like every other word is dripping with slang you know dropping the g's putting the apostrophes but the jokes are written the correct way so if it's like there she'll put they and like that like just it's just it's just it's just done the right way so the dialogue is so good the characters are good like this two side characters the love interest oscar so cute the banter between them so good and like the reasons that nubia shows her powers just perfect the way that family friendship and like society come together in this book is just expertly laid out and the ending is so good like it's kind of like like if i wish i had superpowers and then this is what i would do Everything that's happening in the world right now with like BLM movement and all this police brutality and shootings and killings, um, like it's hard not to like wish you had powers to do something with it. And you see Nubia literally grapple with that because she actually does have powers and she has to choose whether or not she's going to act upon anything that she's going to do, you know, um, or anything that she sees because her moms are very protective of her, which I love the moms of it. <laughs> just so good. And, and... I just say pick this up if you haven't already and that's my advice to you 
if you heard nothing from this let's pick this up and give it a try you will not be disappointed like even if you don't love it to the extent that i love it you won't be disappointed and that's what matters um so now for people who have not read it and don't want to be spoiled leave please i'm sorry because i need to talk about like deep dive into the nitty gritty of how good this book is but like let's do the thumbnail i'm sorry if the camera keeps shaking literally i'm just excited and my foot keeps hitting the floor sorry time for the spoilers i hope everybody else is gone if not this is your own fault i give you ample amount of time um, i'm just gonna go through it a little bit and see what i see and talk about the things i want to talk about okay first things first keisha and jason getting together is yes i love when that happens like not the main character getting with the best friend of like um the of like forever like if there's like a trio and then like one of the, the main characters gets with one of the best friends i really don't like that but i love it when the two side characters get with each other like harry potter okay i hate to talk about it but hp hermione and ron yes i try to find that as much as i can because also it kind of makes like if this if this didn't happen and this in this book but it kind of makes it like they all do love each other equally you know it's not like these two are devoted to them and i hate that i hate the chosen one trope which is mostly every main character is the chosen one but like not every main character has to act like the chosen one okay but let's get back to Nubia. Keisha and jason getting together was absolutely so cute i loved it and the way just like the, their dynamic was so cute I'm trying to hide because they were trying to hide it but everybody knew it was obvious and obviously like the other person pursuing her Wylan, that rich entitled white boy i'm telling you that like he is literally a predator he, he might be one of the scariest antagonists i've read because he had so much power and he and like he's a 17 year old privileged white boy with all this power and like that scene at where he and his friends started the riot at the black lives matter protest I was so mad bro i was like pissed off and it was written so well like i could honestly believe that would happen you know because like literally that's what they do you guys like like that's literally what the enemy does they go to peaceful protests and they make it unpeaceful and they blame it on the peaceful protesters and the fact that this book not only mentioned it but showed it showed how it happened how it lead up and what type of people do it i'm just like applauding it it's just so good and then at the end of the book where it brought in the school shooting i was like this crazy like this because he was going to kill keisha a girl that he was literally just pursuing to say that he's had a black girl are you kidding me see my grandmother has always taught me that listen love is love but it's things like that that scares me literally so the fact that they talked about the, that in this book as well i was like wow but she's not shying away she is not shying away at all and that's fierce the potential school shooting where wyland literally goes after keisha because she rejected him publicly multiple times because he couldn't get what he wanted you guys and it was like hinted that he's been accused before of like forcing himself or breaking like this girl's career um when they were younger and nobody's done anything about it. like like just it's he's like he's scary and he's real and that that was another part of this book that was just chef's kiss um her moms they were so sweet but intimate really like intimate moments between the two moms and it was just so cute just a lesbian black couple raising a superhero and it showed like the struggles that they had with it but also just the fluff i really liked seeing their scenes because you could see the love they have for nubia and the love they have for each other and how they wanted to protect her from the world and it was just it was just really good like the parents in this were really good oscar our love interest oh my gosh i cannot tell if oscar is a part of the lgbtq community i can't tell if he's trans and it doesn't matter but he is so like he's so funny the fact that he finds out nubia's secret because she saves him is just like whoa and then he doesn't tell anyone which obviously we knew he wasn't gonna tell anyone we know he's not like that but like just their banter is so cute like he's smooth he has game okay and the fact that he has game i'm just like okay why you're interested in nubia so 
that's just another reason to read it like the the romance was just cute and um and i feel like it was really nicely paced like they're nervous with each other da -da 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 -da, you know they're getting bolder and bolder and the fact that nubia calls oscar out like during the bonfire scene um where wyland like basically pushes himself onto keisha um and nubia literally like basically almost exposes herself and like beats him up which power to you per 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 uh and then nubia calls oscar out for just like sitting there and not saying anything i was like wow like she's a bad man my Gemma. that's it that's it the, the blurb on the cover like honestly yeah witty powerful and revolutionary yes and it's literally like laugh out loud funny keisha's so funny and like um nubia's inner thoughts so funny and the art the art style is just so good i guess the last thing i want to mention is like nubia's actual powers like where they come from her being diana aka wonder woman her like twin sister but like with young like incubated or whatever just young and then she was gonna raise her but then her, her one of her moms being an amazon as well i don't know it was cool but like it wasn't the main part of the story but i liked it like i believe it because i enjoyed the story so much like but it, like it wasn't bad it was just like i didn't really care like how she got her powers it's cool that she has them you know that part was like cool and cute and like i like seeing diana in it but um this story is really about nubia and like her being a freaking goddess um, a queen all of that and i just think that every black girl every girl everywhere um should pick this up and read it and if you're not a black girl you should pick this up and read it because like i know you want to laugh out loud i, I know you want to see how 17 year old black youth stands up to the police like just pick this up literally five out of five stars you will not regret it those are my thoughts on that wonderful graphic novel if you guys have anything to add please add it below in the comments if you want to reach out and recommend me more graphic novels or more stories about nubia because if there's more stories about her out there i would like to read them please even if it has a different origin story please but i hope you enjoyed um like this if you liked this and then just go out there and try to be the best version of yourself as you can be and literally that's all I can ask for. That's all I want to try to do. So just believe in yourself, trust yourself, and you don't have to be the hero, but you can be if you want to be. All right, I love you guys. Stay blessed. Bye beauties.